talking to you about it. And we've done this for I don't know how many years now, so, so we kind of know what's going on, I hope. But yes, they need to be done uh, by next week so that I can get those and have that collated and ready to go uh, the 5th for annual reports. Although I might cut myself some slack. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, yeah, every other week, right? I said I have a series of treatment of chemo. So I've had my off week, now I'm back on. So Tuesday, uh, 9, 10, I meet with a doctor, 9, 30, 9, 45, whatever it is. I... Uh, uh, start my second series of chemo treatment. So please be praying and that I stay on top of uh, any... I'm not even going to wait till I start feeling a little woozy. I'm just going to start taking stuff the night before and just carry it right on through that day until I get the thing removed So on Thursday. So, so that's what I'm going to try and do and hopefully I will feel... Uh, much better than what I did the first time. I had blood work done uh, last Tuesday, and uh, everything was normal. So I don't know how long that will last. They always talk about how chemo suppresses things with, well, Lisa would know, white blood cells and platelets and hemoglobin, all the stuff gets suppressed. And then they give you a shot or whatever of stuff to to help you uh, overcome that, but I didn't need anything this last week, so so that was good. Uh, we are singing, sing praise to God. God, our Father, you have led us, and it's to the tune of God of grace and God of glory, so it's a very familiar tune. And then God of creation, all-powerful. Songs we've all sung before, so it should be fine. Is there anything else that I have missed? Oh, okay. Deanna's having surgery, so we need to pray for her. Let's see here. Give me a second. I'm going to write that down. Just a second. Thursday? Wednesday. So Deanna's having surgery on, she just said her neck or her spine. Wednesday. Well, let's pray for her too. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else? Okay. Let's pray as we begin. Our gracious God and Father in heaven, we come before you, your your wonderful throne of grace and drawing near to you we know that because of your promise you draw near to us and we thank you Lord that the way to the most holy place is opened up to us because Jesus our Lord entered in with his own blood and he anointed the most holy place and he invites us to follow him and so we thank you for the grace and mercy we find there uh, especially that grace to help us in our time of need. And Lord, we need you even in our worship. For without you, we could do nothing at all. And so be with us in this time of worship that it might honor you and please you. And that we might be built up in the faith and strengthened to serve you and be light in a dark place. And be a vessel fit for your use and glory. And used of you. That others might come to know you. The true and living God. So we give you thanks and praise. And all the honor. Through Jesus our Messiah. Amen. So turning, the first one is in the hymnal. It's actually not hymn number three. I think it's hymn number two. 
uh, sing praise to God, <clears throat> Him too. Everything else is in your song sheet, so let's stand together as we sing. is not found in your hymnal. So if you want to sing it, you got to turn in your worship bulletin to the song sheet. Oh, all the name Christ's holy name Give God all praise and glory Let all who know His power proclaim Each one. 
teach us still through your spirit teach us still God our Father ever lead us from this moment in this place help us see divine Before you're seated, greet one another this morning.
Oh, that's so cute. Hey, Sylvia, we have a new nursery worker. He's coming through the door now. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was back there. I thought maybe he was going to volunteer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I invite you to turn in your worship bulletins to your scripture reading for today. We are reading from Psalm 51, verses 1 through 9. This is the confession of David after he was uh, confronted by Nathan the prophet in his sin with Bathsheba. Be gracious to me, O God, according to your loving kindness. And note, note uh, as we read this, and next week we'll read the rest of it, but note um, the appeal or where the appeal is that David makes as he goes through this. Be gracious to me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the greatness of your compassion, blot out my transgressions. <clears throat> For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, I have sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified when you speak and blameless when you judge. <clears throat> Behold, you desire truth in the innermost being, and in the hidden part you will make me know wisdom. Make me to hear joy and gladness. Let the bones which you have broken rejoice. <clears throat> Let's pray together again, shall we? <clears throat> Lord, as we come again and bow before you, we acknowledge your great name and, and the reflection of David and confessing his own sin uh, before you and writing about that here in this psalm. We see that David appeals to your great name in this, for your name is loving kindness and your name is compassion. And it is according to that name that he appealed to in which he finds forgiveness of sins. For you are the Savior and the Deliverer. And so, Lord, as we think about your great name, we pray, Father, that uh, your great name would be made known here, that we would embrace you in your fullness, and that because of your name, you would look favorably upon us and continue to strengthen us, continue to guide us, continue to protect us, and continue to build us up in the faith and multiply us. And Lord, take note of our ministry and, and effort, O oh Lord, that we, as we serve you, the true and living God, and look after our health and well-being as a church and as families and as individuals here in this church. We remember our nation and ask, Lord, that we would remember the foundations upon which we were built, those unalienable rights that are ours from your hand and by no government or person on earth. We acknowledge those in authority over us and we do pray for them. And we've just come through a transition and for the last eight years we've been praying for President Barack Obama and his family and his, and his leadership that he built. And so we pray for him and his family now in this transition away from 
the administration in Washington, D.C., and that you would be with them and encourage their hearts now that they are finished with this portion of their lives, and that you would sustain them and keep them, O Lord, that they would never forget the lessons learned and continue to be an encouragement to others and those around them. And Father, now we pray for a new administration, uh, Donald Trump and the administration that he has formed and is forming in Washington. We pray f for his faithfulness in the stewardship that you, O oh Lord, have entrusted to him. And as you exhorted Israel when they were carried off in judgment to Babylon, uh, to pray for the, the welfare of the city, of the country, we pray for the welfare of of our country. And I know that we differ, Lord, on certain things, but we do overall want to see good things happen and your blessing to fall upon this country. And so we pray that in this time and hour of need that you would work through the current leadership, uh, work through the Congress and those in positions of power and authority, uh, that you might grant them wisdom and help in this time. We think of our missionaries. Uh, we think of the Snodgrass family. We thank you for them. We thank you for the expansion of ministry uh, <clears throat> in uh, providing uh, monies and supplies to put together a studio down in the basement and to be able to minister to friends and students and so forth and for uh, Nathan and Shelley's uh, children and their desire to reach out to their peers and we thank you for that and ask that much fruit would be born. We pray for Rachel and her responsibilities as a manager at Jimmy John's and we pray that you would help her to get uh, this driver <coughs> hired so that he can get to work in the weekend and also provide uh, for Thursdays. For Spring Lord, who needs work, who's had an um, interview and then uh, testing, and, and we pray that uh, something would be forthcoming soon. For Jeff's brother, Matt, and the need to go in and have heart surgery, and we pray that it would be able to be scheduled soon and that they could take care of this issue. For Joan and her back issues, and then also the bronchial spasm that she had, and that you would be with her, and that we rejoice with her that it was nothing more serious, but, but it's still a health issue, Lord, and we pray that you would help her in this time. For myself and the second series of chemo for this week, we pray, Lord, that you would help me and sustain me and keep me. And Lord, for <clears throat> our youth, for our kids and kids club, Lord, be with our our youth and kids, the children we minister to. Um, Lord, may we present uh, the word of truth, the gospel to them, the good news of Jesus Christ as distinctive from all others. And may you be pleased, Lord, to work in each of their lives for your glory and for your honor. For Rachel's friend, Rochelle, who's still not feeling well, uh, we pray that you would lay your healing hand upon her and restore her. Uh, also that uh, she might know you and love you and serve you. Uh, for Mike and the sore throat, uh, another of Rachel's friends that's been going on for a while, we pray that uh, you would heal him. For Deanna, who will be undergoing surgery this Wednesday, we pray for peace of mind. Um, that all would go well, uh, Father, and that the team that will be uh, helping her and performing the surgery, that you would be with them uh, and safeguard her and help her through this time and help them, O oh Lord, as they, as they seek to uh, deal with the issues that need to be dealt with, Lord, and that you would be honored through this process and that everything would work out the way it's supposed to and we Commit it to you, O oh Lord. And in each of these things, we, we ask that you would be honored and lifted up, that you would be glorified, and that by our lives, we would seek to honor you in our attitudes, our words, our deeds, our thoughts, and that you would be pleased to help us to do so, Lord, for the sake 
of your great name. And we give you glory and praise through Jesus our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> so we are starting back up again in 1 Thessalonians. We have today, I think we have maybe one or two more.